Last night, ACC presidents had a second virtual call, a second call in as many nights, and the word that's been used in many places today, roadblocks were hit. Roadblocks in their discussions about whether to add Cal and Stanford or maybe even SMU too. Now, having roadblocks doesn't mean expansion is dead, but it is, or at least it seems, like it's becoming less likely that the ACC is going to add in this cycle. The one school that's been public and vocal about their support for expansion is Notre Dame. And that is the perfect encapsulation of the Irish's relationship with the Atlantic Coast Conference. Notre Dame is not a football member. They are not a full member of the league. Yet they still get a full vote in whether the league expands they get one of 15 votes. Notre Dame is in favor of adding ACC membership, just as long as it's not them. We're cool with you adding schools, but don't expect us to add. No siree. And once again, Notre Dame has the ability to do good for the ACC, perhaps even save the ACC, but instead is choosing to harm the league rather than do good. That's Notre Dame for you. They've done more harm to the ACC than good. That isn't to say they haven't done positive things. Sure, you have the branding of having them part of your conference and playing a select number of football games against them each year. There are some positives that you look at. But the cons outweigh the pros when you look at the large sample that we now have of this part-time marriage, this part-membership Notre Dame in the league. There's no doubt that the ACC has given more in this partnership than they've received. The ACC has given them a home for all their non-football sports. As the Big East was falling apart, the ACC gave those sports refuge, and that's an upgrade over what the Big East gave Notre Dame. Let's not forget this past athletic year, the ACC had more national championships than any other conference. It just wasn't in the sports that you really care about. It's not in the revenue-generating sports. So for non-football programs, it was a step up for Notre Dame. The ACC was there for them. They give them a television share. Now, it's not a full share because they're not a football member, but a television share nonetheless. They get a full vote on issues like expansion. They're treated like a full-time member in that sense. And of course. During COVID in 2020, the ACC rescued Notre Dame when it was needed. Notre Dame needed the ACC. And in that time, the ACC was needed. The ACC came through. They didn't try to strong arm Notre Dame the way that they probably should have into joining the league, where everybody was only playing conference games at that point. Not a great time to be an independent member like Notre Dame is an independent school. Instead, for one year, they allowed Notre Dame to join the league, and Notre Dame had its best season in over a decade. Probably its best season in over 15 years. They went to the college football playoff. They went to an ACC championship game. Notre Dame had a heck of a year. And the ACC allowed for that to happen by being nimble, being flexible, not being rigid when Notre Dame needed them most. The reason why, in hindsight, they should have tried the strong arm is because it's pretty clear now the ACC can't get Notre Dame to love them. Notre Dame's never going to love them. Notre Dame's never going to return that favor for the ACC. They're never going to join because right now they could rescue the ACC. After the Big Ten expansion and what the Big 12 is doing currently and what the SEC is adding in Texas and Oklahoma, Notre Dame has the ability. They are the golden ticket in the ACC being included with that top tier in college sports, but they're not going to do it. Independence matters more to them than helping the ACC, than helping somebody that's helped them. Now that the shoe's on the other foot. Rather, Notre Dame is now advocating for something harmful. They're advocating for expansion to the Bay Area in California to add Stanford in Cal. They're the one school that's putting their name on it. 
None of the other schools that are advocating for it, albeit we can guess who they are, are publicly putting their name on it the way that Notre Dame has. Here was Heather Dinich this morning on ESPN explaining the logic of Notre Dame AD Jack Swarbrick. I was texting back and forth this morning with Notre Dame Athletic Director Jack Swarbrick because it was reported and sources confirmed that Notre Dame is pushing for Cal and Stanford. And I want to read to you the text message he sent that I can use on the record. He said, the notion that two of the very best academic institutions in the world who also play D1 sports would be could be abandoned in this latest chapter of realignment is an indictment on college athletics. Hmm. If only there was a way that Notre Dame could help those schools rather than just being one of 15 votes. If it really matters to you so much that these schools not get left in the dark. Hmm. If only something you could do, Jack Swarbrick, because we all know in a heartbeat, it would be a 15 out of 15 approval. If Notre Dame said, if you take on Cal and Stanford, we'll, we'll join the league too. Everybody would sign up for that if that were to happen. So Stanford and Cal need some help from their friends at Notre Dame, the same way that the ACC does. Are they going to help them? Nope. We're not going to do that. It's not best for us. It's not convenient for us. So we're just not going to do it. That's the Notre Dame way. We expect you to help us, and we will pursue this relationship as long as you always cater to us and you serve us, but the moment that you need help and need something in return, we're not going to really be there for you. At every turn, Notre Dame, it just feels like kicks traditional members in the nads. The ACC, you know, they won an ACC championship in Greensboro in 2015 against North Carolina of all schools. They stole Sam Hartman from Wake Forest. They, you know, Clemson was in the playoff picture and had a chance to get the ACC back to the playoff until they lost in South Bend. And let's not forget that Jack Swarbrick, because of his relationship with the ACC, was allowed to be on a four person subcommittee that created the 12 team playoff. And was it a coincidence that the 12 team format that they came up with best serves Notre Dame? Better serves them than even serves the ACC? Probably not. There are some positives that Notre Dame brings and has brought. And we can acknowledge those. But they've done more harm than they've done good. We can acknowledge that too. On Twitter, at WSJS Radio, if you want in. Will Dalton, the executive producer of the show. You can also watch us in addition to WSJS Radio on Twitter, on YouTube, and on Twitch. WD, what movie reference would be more apt in this moment? Notre Dame. Would it be other ACC members acting like Damien and Mean Girls yelling at the back of the gymnasium? She doesn't even go here! The fact they're not a full member? Or is it Peter Parker letting the criminal go that <laughs> went to kill Uncle Ben. And when the person asked, why didn't you do something? He said, I, I seem to miss the part that's my problem. Where well, that's my problem, the way that the ACC should respond to Jack Swarbrick's suggestion of, somebody needs to help for the good of the sport, Stanford and Cal. We're always going to prefer a good Tobey Maguire Spider-Man reference, so we're going with that. 